Welcome back to the channel. A few things I want to show today. People often ask, how many images do I need to train a neural network? The other thing I'd like to go over is some of the optimizations recently made to the Hank AI version of Darknet YOLO. And lastly, I'd like to quickly discuss the speed and accuracy of Darknet YOLO neural networks. The video I'm showing right now demonstrates what can be done with Darknet YOLO. I annotated 24 video frames to create this neural network. Note this neural network won't find any gear in any random situation with all sorts of lighting, camera angle, backgrounds, etc. It is specific to this scenario. In situations where you have control over things such as lighting, the objects you need to detect, and the camera angle, it really doesn't take much to create a neural network. I annotated 24 random video frames. I probably could have started out annotating just 10 frames, but I quickly ended up with 24. Let me bring up Darkmark so you can see what the annotations look like. You can see there are five classes in this network. These are the 24 images that were annotated. We can quickly review all 24 frames to make sure the annotations are correct. Each class has a separate tab in the review window to make it easy to identify annotation mistakes. Next, we're going to generate all of the Darknet YOLO training files so that this network can be trained. The width and height were chosen based on the FAQ entry that discusses how to pick the optimal neural network dimensions. The rest of the options, I believe, are the default settings. Let's generate all of the Darknet training files and we'll run through the entire training run in less than 90 seconds. Press Escape to quit from Darkmark. Once back at the command prompt, Run the training script created by Darkmark. The chart.png is updated every 100 iterations as training happens. You can see the loss decrease as the map quickly approaches 100%. It only takes 85 seconds to train this neural network containing 24 annotated images. I want to point out how different this might be from what most people think when building their first neural network. It took less than 90 seconds to train this network to find five different objects. To see the results, we'll run dark help against several videos I captured of the gears in motion. And this brings up the last point I wanted to talk about today. People think that an increase in version number means better results. While that may be true within a specific project, when other projects start to call themselves YOLO and increment the version number, such as YOLO version 5, version 6, version 7, it doesn't necessarily indicate that it performs better than the original Darknet YOLO project. The Darknet YOLO community is still hard at work making improvements to the Darknet YOLO codebase. As you can see from this video, Darknet YOLO with YOLO v4 Tiny is extremely quick to train, inference is definitely fast, and the accuracy is spot on. Hopefully this example shows off the strengths of Darknet YOLO, easy to use, very quick to train, fast output, and accurate results. Darknet YOLO can be used from the command line or from within other applications since it provides an API that can be called from within Python, C, C++, and more. Browse my other videos to see what can be done with Darknet YOLO and come find us on the Darknet YOLO Discord server if you have any questions.